These are first year students at the Faculty of Dentistry, University of Indonesia. When they graduate, they will have far more choices about where they work than their predecessors. With the implementation of free flow of skilled professions, they will have easier access to work in their neighboring countries in ASEAN. These dental students are already interested in working overseas. Concerns have been raised regarding the free flow in terms of requirements. Redi Mahadika, fourth year student, said he wants to work abroad, but he is not sure about the requirements of each country, especially their language barrier. Language barrier. I think the language barrier will be a big problem here, and they will still prefer to go to the Indonesian doctors because they can consult freely with their language. Because yeah. Yet the requirements for skilled professions could be one method of each country to protect its national interest. Maybe I will hesitate to use the word free flow, but rather you know there will be open access. Now, what's the difference between the two? I think access is fair, but individual countries and all, you will have your professional qualifications and professional requirements. Say, for instance, you're, if you're practicing uh, medicine in Singapore, Singapore would require, say, okay, a certain standards. So even if maybe English proficiency in Thailand, they may require you, you know, to be able to speak Thai. Because okay, some may look at this as obstacles, but look at this, you know, they are specific to a country's requirements. So while we open access for skilled labor, we also want to make sure that you know there's a match. Between your skills and the country that you're going. 2015 to. is around two years away, but students and a professional dentist admitted that they are not well informed about the movement. Regarding the implementation, a dentist lecturer urged that ASEAN to set the framework for the whole region, as these kinds of professions have an effect on people's well-being. I think uh, there should be a framework uh, together. That needs to be provided, uh, uh, coordinated, in order that when one moves from one place to the other, uh, the qualification would be similarized, and also probably there should be a coordination for informing you about your local culture. Even though free for obscure labor seems inevitable. The president of Doctor Association of Indonesia is skeptical about the free flow movement, stating that each ASEAN country has its own problem of lacking specialists. Generally speaking, for the medical practitioner, general medical practitioner, we are uh, quite sufficient. I mean, the, the number is quite sufficient for our uh, population, especially in 2014. We will establish what we call it the uh, universal uh, health insurance coverage. So, one doctor should cover 3,000 people. So, based on that, uh, we need around uh, 80,000 general practitioners. And by that time, we are quite enough. So, it's impossible that our doctor will go to other countries. In spite of all the concerns, the concept of free flow of skilled labor is likely to happen sometime in 2015. But questions still remain on the standard of qualifications and how it will be implemented. On the Wee Tang Mi Sang, Ted Chen reporting from Jakarta, Indonesia.